say just hook it to this and then walk behind it. Just hook it to mine and walk behind it. Just make sure nothing can fall out. Good. Ten inches of crap ice. Okay, welcome back everybody. And uh, anybody new here, thanks for joining me today. Back out with Lance. Uh, he's currently tying on a new jig. What is that though? Noodle? Yes, yeah, the Red Cliff Noodle. You're gonna wanna get another stiff rod too, just. No, I'm gonna pound him with this. <laughs> We're gonna see. So he's never fished specifically for yellow bass through the ice like this. Um, so hopefully the thumbnail is just a good size yellow bass this lake has some decent ones i think it's got like the biggest one i think i ever got out here was like 10 11 inches which is really those of you guys know that's a pretty big yellow bass but either way hopefully we get a school of them so that he gets to play with those if you guys didn't see the other video which actually i don't know when these videos are going to come out in like what order but uh, earlier today we were pounding on giant white bass and lance had not done that either so it's a fun day for Lance, yeah, right? All kinds of new stuff, new experiences. Get, got off the Mississippi River for a while, and yeah, you have, you guys have no idea. Everybody always asks me to go fishing with Lance. You guys need to go hit up Lance's channel and be like, Lance, go fish with Dave. Yeah, that that'll work out better. So hopefully, the next thing you guys see is both of us slaying some fish. I'm gonna have to change the depth there a little bit. <laughs> Not in 70 feet of water anymore. So, I think there's, yeah, there's two right there, right underneath us. Let's see any schools around. There's big crappie in here too. See those ones? Yeah. So that's see them everywhere. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. What well, do you wanna? You wanna go drill? Sure. I drilled the first set. You do the second set. So like 60 feet that way, right there. Oh, he's he's, blowing me up. he's been distracted. <laughs> Right there. Like I said, they, they just kinda they just kinda move. So the trick is drill all the holes out, don't move too much, give them a minute and then see if uh, see if we can get any out of these holes. Don't go away, come back. God, I hate these fish. <laughs> they were here, I walked over here, they're over there. You got one over there? Adam? Yay! <laughs> was he was he unglued? <laughs> A bite. On. <laughs> Dude, I love how cooperative these fish are. <laughs> like just one all by himself, just moseying along, looked over at it, was like, yeah, I'll eat that. <laughs> What's the discerning difference between this and like a white bass? 
uh, the broken bars on the side, yellow belly when they're colored up, and uh, forgot what the they don't grow. I mean, they just don't grow as big. Uh, this is like these are bigger yellow bass. Yours is like eight nine inches. Yeah, yeah that's a bigger yellow bass. And just be careful what they're they're like that sharp that stupid yeah, <laughs> this is a blade right here you hear it yeah it's a certain like, like that's why I, that looks like that on my oh, thumb okay. so i mean it's kind of stupid but here put that on your hook <laughs> try to get it through the skin you know mm. and then that that way it won't ever fall off because you know once it's past the barb it's on there catch 200 fish this way <laughs> number one tip when you're fishing for white bass or yellow bass take both. right but you like you're not going to clean a whole yellow bass that's the whole thing it just works better but yeah just a little chunk of their meat make sure there's some skin on there put it on your hook last forever catch 10,000 of them Dude, they're <laughs> you you could literally wear yourself out with these fish. Okay, so little update. Just drilled another grid of holes. Part of the course with chasing yellow bass. Um, just kind of got to keep moving. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to sit still. And like Lance is doing, he's just sitting still in a spot for a little while. And it helps because then it doesn't spook him. This water isn't very deep. It's like 15, 16 feet at the most. Uh, some spots are like 17. But um, these guys are just cruising around. But if you don't move and they come up underneath you, usually they'll come up and bite. They're pretty, uh, pretty agreeable fish. So hopefully I can get a couple more of them. Um, the reason I drilled those holes out over there was I was looking with my live scope and I could see off in the distance uh, different little pods. So hopefully after it calms down here, Lance and I can kind of hop through that section and start picking them off. About time. Oh, crappy. <laughs> dude up down up down up down up down. <laughs> that's not what crappie are supposed to do but i guess in, out, <laughs> out in this lake they do that <laughs> yeah that was a little weird there's a school of three or four of them and they were all chasing it i mean they all came they all came within like a foot of the ice well, that makes me wonder if there were like crappie swimming with the schools because I was seeing all the schools swim through here. I think the funniest part is the fact that they like the mannerisms of that crappie were identical to the yellow bass. I wonder if I can put it down right on top of them. We go what are you okay <laughs> it's the bigger one these guys are like dangerous to hold another one feeding time oh bluegill <laughs> That's so random. Man, that is a stunted bluegill if I ever saw one. <laughs> Ugly little buggers. I think I'm almost one of every panfish that swims in here. I just need a perch. Well, here's a school. Oh, that was probably a crappie. Soft lips. <laughs> Yep. Dang it, I lost another one. <laughs> All for two. <laughs> yeah, that couldn't have been a more gimme situation and I screwed it up. 
literally set it down on a school of them. <laughs> whatever that is. Look at that little bluegill. So there's some suspended bluegills running around. This guy was all by himself just cruising along like four feet down. That one's not stunted. <laughs> He's got an ability to grow up. 